A man who lives right here in Mesa County is a New York Times best-selling author. Gerald Blaine is a retired Secret Service agent with some incredible stories. Our Timber Schumann interviewed Mr. Blaine, who takes you through his experience with the JFK assassination. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. When President Kennedy died, uh, the world turned upside down. It was ridiculous to try to protect the president with the resources we've had, we had. Unless we speak up, all the agents that were involved and dedicated to Kennedy's protection are going to be a blacklist in history. And I wrote the Kennedy detail. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. My name is uh, Jerry Blaine. I moved to Grand Junction 20 years ago. I went to school over in Inglewood High School and the University of Colorado, and I was a Korean War veteran. Jerry has lived several different lives, many of them through the government and through the Secret Service. Eisenhower, Kennedy, and Johnson were the ones, the primary ones that I worked with. Greg Hamilton created an impressive local law catalog housed at Hamilton Library. He invited Jerry here this week to share stories detailing his life and his role during a critical moment in U.S. history. I met him at our church, and he's here to be interviewed, and we have a special um, interview on our big screen tonight that was done about two years ago, about 30 minutes long. I was very careful in the Kennedy detail to write the facts and do research. Jerry guarded the president throughout his entire presidency, both by his side and venturing ahead to clear the way. He set up a route for Kennedy's car in Dallas, which Jerry tells me Kennedy changed at the last minute and requested a convertible. Jerry was en route to Kennedy's next planned tour when an assassin fired on and killed the president. Decades later, he decided to put the trauma into words. His book, The Kennedy Detail, shares what he and other Secret Service men experienced. Our intent was to give the readers an idea of what President Kennedy was like, and what were the events leading up to the assassination, and uh, tearing down the theories that people were introducing. Now for part two of this interview with Mr. Blaine, tune in tonight. Now Colorado authorities